today we are doing yet another really simple tutorial it's this zoom through transition we don't like complicated stuff only the ones that saves us time but still make our videos so much better speaking of saving time i've created a pack of templates for premiere pro and after effects that are just as easy to use picture collage effects pack is a simple drag and drop plus they give your videos that special look i wanted to give you an option to try it out first before you make a purchase so just go to my website subscribe to my mailing list and you'll receive one free effect from the pack I'll have it linked down below. Okay, back to the tutorial. I have two videos for the transition and the first thing that I'm going to do is go right here in the middle, move one frame to the left and duplicate the first video. Then I'll just add a frame hold and extend it so it's two frames above the first video and five to six frames above the second one. Now I'll create a mask and click on inverted. Okay, I'm going to nest it and apply transform. Keyframe position and scale at the start, move at the end and zoom in by increasing the scale and just change the shadow angle to 180. Now I want to add shake to it. I'm using shake sauce as always. It's the easiest for me to use and I don't feel like changing it for something else. I'll actually have it linked down below in the description. If you use code GAGA at the checkout, you'll get $5 off the order and you can actually use my code for any pack from the website and get a discount. So I like to add shake to the adjustment layer. I'm going to apply it right here on the transition. And the last effect that I'm going to add is lens distortion. Since I'm in After Effects, I'll apply this one, but if I was in Premiere, I would use the regular lens distortion effect. So you don't really need this plugin for it. I'll decrease it in the middle, then reset it to zero at the start and at the end, and I'll do the same for the other scene. And that's it. That's a tutorial, simple as that. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and put notifications on. I post this type of tutorials every week. Make sure to like this video, it really helps me as a creator to reach out and help more people like you. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.